Tonight, we're gonna make a tri-tip over an open hickory fire. It's gonna be delicious, plus it's a double header. We got Grillaholics SPG with butter and Uncle Steve's Shake South Texas Smoke Bomb. It's gonna be the bomb. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, it's getting to be fall. Obviously, it is fall. Hey, it's the night before Halloween, and we got ourselves an open fire getting ready to start here. So right off the bat, guys, Please hit that subscribe button right down there. Hook us up a little bit because I'm about to hook you guys up with an awesome open fire way of cooking tri-tip. Now, if you don't recognize the shirt, guys, super clean. One of the vendors giving away some goods at our 4,000 subscriber contest. I pulled out this fire pit. I had to clean the grate off a little bit. And this super clean was just what I needed. Stuff worked great. Whether I'm going to use the Grillaholics SPG with butter yet first, and then put the Uncle Steve's smoke bomb on there. But I'm thinking maybe Uncle Steve's first, because it's finer, I think. I want that color, and I want that smoke to be there, because it's not gonna spend very much time on that open flame. And then I'm gonna top it off with this SPG, a little bit more coarse, plus it's got that butter kind of sizzle in. So it's an experiment, we're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna try out this tool set from Grillaholics, guys. So if you haven't seen my last video, guys, we're giving away some stuff like this uh, for a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Maybe we're already at a 4,000 subscribers by the time this video airs. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, it's a nice looking tool set. Uh, I'm gonna be probably using just the, the tongs and the spatula. Uh, probably don't need the basting brush and the fork, but maybe not, maybe we'll check it out. Who knows? I'm doing open flame. No, I'm not gonna slow cook it and let it come up slowly, guys. I'm gonna burn the bejesus out of it. In my book, that's the only way of doing a tri-tip. And don't worry about burning and charring the outside, guys, because that's what tri-tips are all about here on the West Coast. You want a nice char black on the outside, pink on the inside. Just you wait and see. Got ourselves a tri-tip. So, like I said, I've decided to use the Uncle Steve Shake first. But, as always, before I do, I'm going to hit it with some of this avocado spray oil. It's got a high smoke point, so it won't burn but I want to use it kind of just to sort of lubricate. I'm going to leave the fat cap on it because it's going to go fat cap down. That fat cap's going to help protect it. I am going to flip it a few times, but primarily, you know, it's going to be fat cap down. Now I'm making sure I get this avocado oil everywhere. Kind of rub it in. Have fun with your meat. Now for the Uncle Steve shake, guys. I like to go on nice and even with that. So I do that, kind of holding at an angle getting the sides, getting all the little nooks and crannies, guys. Don't you love that color? Now, guys, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description down. Go get you some. Steve's an awesome guy. He supports the YouTube barbecue scene wholeheartedly. And uh, he's going to send a package by way of uh, U.S. mail to whoever wins the 4,000 giveaway. 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Again, I'm going to be using this Grillaholics SPG with butter. SPG with butter. Woo, look at that. Me and Sassy, we like our tri-tip nice and crispy. The overall bark, you know. When you slice this up like we do, the bark's on the edge anyway. It's just adding to the flavor. As you can see, it's thin. We're going to slice it with the grain, of course, against the grain. Ah. I want some of your SPG with butter. So right off the bat, um, it feels good in my hand. It's got a plastic handle here, um, but it's somewhat rough. Uh, but I imagine, you know, if you got slippery hands, wet hands, it's gonna grip really nicely. It's kind of at an angle, serrated um, for grabbing the meat, and uh, looks pretty cool. Nice basting brush, okay? Who doesn't need uh, one of these, guys? These come in really handy, especially when they're long like that. Um, just as I thought, that could come off for easy cleaning. You can clean them separately and uh, just put it back in there when you're done. Forks look pretty nice. They got little protectors on there. Okay, these definitely come in handy. Now they feel really good, they feel really good. Now the spatula, it's got a nice little bevel to it. So when you're grabbing them sliders off your uh, griddle, um, it's even got a little serrated area right there. And guys, ball opener right there. 
They thought of everything. All right, guys, so that fire is almost ready. So for you guys that are curious, I'm using this Western wood, pretty nicely uh, milled uh, hickory here. Now they got this stuff in mesquite and apple, all kinds of stuff, but I really like these logs. So does my Yoder. Uh, it, they're really predictable, a lot of the same size. As soon as that fire and the coals are a little bit more established, I'm gonna throw a fresh piece of hickory on there, throw the grate over and throw that tri-tip right on the flames. And the rest will be history. baby so if you guys didn't know that was sassy that did the plating good job baby well it's just a quick little something you know just a quick little something <laughs> yeah, okay so guys uh hope you enjoyed this video mm. Mm. it's delicious i like the flavor of the rubs together of course uncle steve's is a home run every time no. close your mouth babe you like my shirt all right guys so anyway hey I meant to use this uh, meat stick here during this cook, but realized, you know, on the open flame, I think it has a uh, direct temperature restriction of over 500 degrees, like 550 or something like that. And with open flame, you know, I didn't want to subject it to potential damage. So I'm going to be doing some turkey thighs. Is that, is that right? We're going to do yeah. some turkey thighs in the next video. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing to use and compare it to the meter probe that I have. Um, so far though, what I've seen with this, I've already put the batteries in and started charging up. It's a pretty cool device, guys. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit your notifications to make sure you don't miss a thing, and give us a thumbs up. Definitely, if you like this, if you didn't, give us a thumbs down. I don't care, just give us a thumb, one way or the other. All right? <laughs> just don't give us the finger. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right, see Thanks you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Bye.